hi, welcome to Great Riffs. Today we are going to be learning a song on flute called Cross-Eyed Mary by Jethro Tull. It's uh, one of the really popular songs and a really great song. Now Jethro Tull started out as a blues band in England um, and they gained notoriety pretty quickly and I think it was about the second album or maybe somewhere in the first one. Ian Anderson w walked into a pawn shop, I believe it was, and saw a flute and he's like, you know, I'm never going to be Jimi Hendrix, but no one in rock music has gotten famous for using the flute. It was almost like a joke or something at first, but um, anyway, obviously he really honed his craft and they went on to make some pretty darn incredible and noteworthy music. Some of the best music anyone's ever made. Basically it's going to consist of two parts. There's an intro, and then there's the flute solo, which is actually pr probably the most famous flute solo in rock history, which isn't saying much, but um, it's tons of fun. It's just one of those great flute pieces, especially if you're a flute student and you're just playing a bunch of boring stuff. This will spice it up for you. Now, flute isn't one of those instruments that I can uh, speak while I'm playing, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the notes right down here where you can see them as I'm playing them during the instructional part of the program. And that's the next section. Alright guys, let's get into it. <laughs> I'm going to go through it nice and slow. Now if you're having trouble, go ahead and just back the video right up to where you need to uh, focus on. Just watch as many times as you need to. Even the pros have to look at something quite a few times before they can get it. So there's no shame in it. Just back it up as many times as you need to. That's the way to do it. Jethro Tull is actually a favorite band of mine. I think, for instance, their uh, Songs from the Wood album is probably one of the best albums ever made. It is one of the few albums that I consider to have not even one weak track. Everything on there is amazing. Um, their techniques uh, were so revolutionary and so just... They were really trendsetters in the progressive rock community with uh, albums like Thick as a Brick and Passion Play. 
just really set the bar really high for any musician to follow during that era. Uh, especially with the incorporation of flute and uh, actually quite a few other interesting instruments just made for one interesting musical experience. Plus they were great live and um, just had a incredible repertoire of songs. Alright, well thanks for watching Great Riffs. Um, I think this piece in particular, Jethro Tull, um, really went to prove that diversity is what makes something cool. You know, most uh, rock bands obviously don't have a flautist in it. In fact, very few before Jethro Tull did. But it was very cool how they incorporated some classical elements in different styles and uh, mixed it all up and gave it a different texture than it would have had with just traditional instrumentation. So, um, when you're writing songs or trying anything, just try to be creative and think of new ways to do things, because that is the best thing to do in any situation. Thank you.